Let's explore the brainwave signatures of meditation practices. This is possible because meditations have different procedures. And depending on the procedure you're using, that brainwave frequency will be seen. So if the procedure of meditation involves focusing the mind, uh, maybe focusing on the breath, what you see is the brainwave signature of keeping the mind focused. It's called gamma, is the name. It's a very fast brainwave. It goes up and down 20 to 50 times per second. Gamma is seen in any situation where you're focusing. For example, when people are watching this video, they probably have gamma in their EEG because they're trying to keep their attention on one idea, they're trying to block out irrelevant stimuli, and so on. Another category of meditation it involves less effort. It's just mon it's open monitoring. It's just watching. It's observing in, in a non-passionate way, not trying to fix, not trying to change, but just noting, letting it go. This procedure, open monitoring, involves theta EEG between five and eight cycles per second. And it's seen whenever you're just watching, you're just observing, you're just attending to the ongoing internal mental processing. The third category is the process of transcending. And this is any meditation which involves turning the attention within, starting with thinking, but just ending up with inner silence or being. The category is called automatic self-transcending. We see transcendental meditation. And in this category, what we see is alpha-1 EEG, 8 to 10 cycle per second. It's the EEG of the brain just humming to itself, being awake without any doing. The first two uh, meditation categories, what they do is they train your mind to think and cope and act in a specific way. You're as if using the mind in a different way, to focus the mind or to just be following ongoing mental activity. Third category, transcendental meditation, it doesn't teach your mind to, to use your mind in a different way, but rather it expands consciousness itself, expands awareness. Meditations and focus attention, open monitoring, are like learning how to use a knife. You know, the, the knife is a tool, the mind is a tool. You're learning how to use it in different ways. TM, transcending, is like sharpening the knife. You're not actually learning how to do anything new, but what you're doing is you're preparing the mind for every subsequent experience. The range of research on TM um, involves many individual studies, for instance, looking at the stress response. One thing we find, which is very important, is your, your fight or flight system, that system which is activated by stress and threat, that's reset during TM. This has its benefits in a very broad range in terms of chronic diseases. High blood pressure is one of the three major killers. And so, Transcendental meditation is found to reduce high blood pressure. It's, it's found to restore the body chemistry. This is seen in terms of meta-analyses of anxiety. What is the effect of transcending on anxiety using standardized anxiety scales? And what comes up is it, the, the process of transcending, allowing the mind to go to inner silence, the stable sense of who you are, Bringing that into activity, the anxiety you experience in your activity is decreased. So there's a rich range of, of research which is there. Mm -hmm.